please welcome, fighting out of the Bada Focus in Red Corner, from the arena, please welcome, Anthony Orozco. All right, so as I said, Anthony Orozco, I think this kid has star power written all over him. I interviewed him after his last fight, which was one of the most dominant fights I've ever seen. He thinks that he is going to be a welterweight champion of the UFC in two to three years, and honestly, I cannot knock the confidence. Absolutely. I mean, Anthony is one of my main training partners, and let me first side by say he's 3-0 with two TKOs and a second round uh, sub as well. I mean, Anthony has already competed at the highest levels of wrestling. Absolutely. He was a national champion in college. Uh, he already has elite credentials. It's a classic example of the new breed of MMA, already experienced all the pressure of the top tier competition brings. This kid, honestly, is the truth. I've seen him give the hardest work to top tier professionals as is, and he's only been training MMA less than a year. Yeah, it's unbelievable that the, the way that the way that this guy has fast-tracked his way to success, and as you said, no stranger to the big stage. This guy is a four-time All-American in college, a two-time national champion, obviously went to Athens, uh, went to Menlo in Athens, and you know, I actually wanted to go to Menlo. I was this close, I ended up going to San Diego State. They have a phenomenal sports management program. Atherton's a prestigious school, and Anthony Orozco looking like he has the potential to become a very prestigious fighter, but this guy is his toughest task to be. And his opponent, fighting out of the Hidden Valley Genetics Blue Corner, from Allianz Jiu-Jitsu, please welcome Gio Meyer! So Gio Meyer fighting out of Alliance, obviously, uh, Dominic Cruz has fights out of Alliance as well. So, hey, this guy is a fantastic striker and has super underrated grappling. Do not let the 0-1 record fool you for when he's recovering from a nasty leg injury. And, and this guy, I think you would agree, is Anthony's toughest fight yet. Yes, definitely, definitely. And to his credit, uh, his only loss in competition, I believe it was close to three years ago or so, it was against former welterweight champ uh, Bill Wilson, now on his way to Cage Warriors. So, oh, wow. uh, Giovanni is taking on a highly touted prospect, yes. but he's no slouch. Yes. He, he feels uh, he has an advantage in the striking and most definitely in the jiu-jitsu as well. Uh, he says his path to victory is controlling the range and not letting Anthony shoot underneath his punches. I bought his willingness, really, to uh, take on such a highly touted prospect. Absolutely. Hey, we got to give a shout-out to Gio Mayer. He is a Marine vet, so thank you, sir, for your service. And uh, I got, you know, did you know, man, that no one wanted to fight Anthony? Anthony is absolutely worthy of a title shot, but Harvey could not find, could not find a title-worthy opponent, and Gio stepped up and said, I'll fight this kid. Uh, I don't know what else. He, he, he's, he's throwing himself into the fire, wants to ruin the hype train. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for another absolute war inside the epic fighting cage. This is three, three minute rounds in the middleweight division. Your first warrior, fighting out of the bottom focus in red corner. This round of Victor's artist for the record of three wins and no losses. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, and weighs already 185 pounds. Representing the arena, grab it up for Anthony Orozco. And his opponent. Fighting out of the Hidden Valley Genetics Blue Corner. They fan the mixed martial artist with a record of no wins and one loss. He stands six feet, one inches tall, and weighs already 185 pounds. Representing Allianz Jiu Jitsu, please welcome Gio Mayer. Wow. Well, I don't know if it's because I'm commentating, but I have never been You're more excited George for a fight, sir. Gallegos. Orozco looking very, very calm and collective. This kid's confidence is through the roof, but I'm telling you, Gio thinks he's going to win. Go this is by far the best opponent that Orozco has faced. All go down live and like I said, do not TV. let the 0-1 record fool you. 
He may have lost a couple years ago, but he's competing in the BJJ and Muay Thai competitions. And here we go. Oh, oh Orozco, right off the bat, right off the bat. Oh my God, this guy's showing his dominance early. Orozco, this one might end early. He's ground and pound for Orozco. Ground and pound. Oh, Orozco. The scrambling ability out of Orozco is on a different level. This guy is an elite level wrestler this for a reason. This guy is ready for the big leagues. And he mounts him just like that. He's gonna stay on top of him until... Oh, big shot from Orozco with the left. I wanna see this go back to the feet. Orozco does not want that to be the case. Oh. Not able to get under yet, not quite. If I'm Anthony, I settle right now. I landed some big shots already, and I need to posture up and land some ground and pound. Meyer Geo looks, still may be hurt right now. Anthony yeah. landed some huge shots earlier. Yeah, Meyer looks demoralized. Orozco, as dominant as you could ask for in your biggest fight today. Look at the transitions with Anthony. You can tell that the guy has been wrestling his entire life. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's just so hard to react to what he's doing and very unconventional uh, responses on the ground because of his uh, wrestling credentials. Yeah, this guy, like you said, the credentials, the accolades are crazy. I try to add another accolade to his. Anthony went big run. elbows to the body. Yeah, oh, big shot right there from Morosco. He passes the leg and takes side control once again. An absolute domination in the first round, for sure. 30 seconds remaining in a banger of a fight, a banger of a card. And there we go. And we're back Meyer, to the feet. back to the feet. Oh, great kick from Meyer. Oh. Oh, and they're swinging for the fences. Anthony connects with Meyer. They're both hurt. Oh, Anthony gets caught oh, too. Meyer oh, favors. No. He's rocked. Anthony looking for the finish. He Orozco tagged him. Only seven seconds left. I hope they don't stop this. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna go to a second round. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. What a round and shout out to Meyer. This kid is done for tough. Not really a kid. This, guy, this guy's a lot older than me. But man, hey, <laughs> describe that, that first round in one word. Big body shots. And not only was he attacking the head, but he was attacking the body with elbows, which is a trademark move, especially in the amateur circuits. Here we go, we got a little bit of replay on some of the big shots landed. Immediately, Anthony enters for the takedown. Puts him on his back and starts landing on big shots. I thought the referee was going to stop the fight at one point. I thought so too, but they, I think that's just respect to, to Gio. I mean, as I said, a Marine veteran. This guy is a phenomenal striker and just tough as hell, tough as nails. I have a lot of respect for this guy. And, you know, this fight is far from over. He showed the toughness. He showed the resiliency. I'm excited for this second round, sir. One thing to notice about Anthony is his calmness and excitement to be in the fight. He's looking out at the crowd. Yeah. You know, Gio is looking to dig down deep right now. He's got to keep this fight standing. Anthony's already proven he can take him down pretty quickly, but he's willing to trade with him, and, and that's what Gio needs to do. Maybe lull him to sleep and just right. see if he can keep the strikes going. Well, we just saw the round of the night. Will we see the fight of the night? Here we go. He's... Oh! Oh, Orozco! Orozco! Oh, oh my rock. goodness! What a takedown! Oh, Orozco, big shot! He's looking to take his back and get his hooks inside. Oh, he's landing big run. Oh, and he's got the wrist trap on the inside hand. Oh, Orozco with another dominating first few seconds. The, the ref might stop, stop it. The, the ref might stop he it. He needs to stop this fight. Oh, the, this is going to end is getting any smacked. second now. Man, Gio is a warrior staying alive. Blood is gushing. It's going to be stopped any second now. Wow. Gio keeps it moving, keeps wow. himself in the fight. Wow. Gio is dripping blood, staying alive. Wow, shout out to the ref for not stopping this. That's just respect to Gio Meyer. Big ground and pound landed by Anthony again. Great defense by Meyer, stay alive. Man, mad respect to this guy. No matter what happens, this guy's going to be a winner tonight, oh, for sure. The referee could stop this fight at any, any moment. Any moment, any moment. If Anthony can posture up and land big shots right now, the ref, the ref is, will stop the fight. Oh, this is gonna, this got to be over. Any second in, that is it! Anthony Orozco, 4-0, remains undefeated. This kid has star written all over him. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this kid's the truth. 
because before you're done watching him compete, he'll be in the UFC, he'll be in a top tier promotion. This guy told me he would dethrone Hamza Chemaev for the welterweight championship in two to three years. Do you agree with that statement? I sure as hell do. Yeah. No bias whatsoever. He has an absolute uh, opportunity to do so, and you know, good luck to Gio as well. You know, he, he fought hard. It, it was just not his night tonight. I like Going it. to the, re, the replay right now. They trade a little bit. Anthony's fading the team. He looks for the uppercut, and he almost got caught by Gio. Big two landed, and he does the high crotch dump right there. I'll tell you what, though. This is the most damage. Even though Anthony looks unscathed, and he's probably going to go out and turn up tonight. This is the most unscathed he has been. I got I mad respect for Gio Mayer. Number one, as I said, man. This guy offered, said, let me see if I can try and ruin this hype train. I mean, this guy, as ridiculous as this may sound, he's like the Hamzat of, of epic fighting. Like, no one wanted to fight him. Everyone was ducking him. Hamzat is potentially a title-worthy guy. And, and man, Anthony Orozco, he has to get a title shot in his next fight in epic. But will we find anybody that's worthy of a title fight or that wants to fight him? Well, an opportunity that Anthony was presented with and he will be pursuing is actually the Pan Am's that's right. amateur in, in Mexico. Uh, Monterey, competition. Monterey, Mexico, right? Yeah, so essentially what happens is it's an eight-man tournament that he goes to compete in and he's guaranteed opponents. And as long as he wins, it's a three-fight way. And then the winner of that promotion actually is able to go to Abu Dhabi. So that's incredible. Um, fortunately for him, you know, now that he's at 4-0, he's almost guaranteed fights. You know, someone with his grappling credentials, nobody is going to want to fight this guy at that point. So uh, it, it's great opportunity for him. I'm really looking forward uh, to seeing him in the future. If, if you're Anthony Roscoe, the only he really needs some experience with striking. Does does he need to get some more amateur fights under his belt? I mean, like you know, should he be going pro by the end of the year? Should we be seeing him in a, in a promotion like LFA or Bellator in the near future? You know, I mean, he he that really comes down to the coaching staff and how they view their fighter. He he needs to get through this next amateur. Uh, tournament that he's competing in right. and hopefully gets the win he most likely will go pro from there yeah i, I believe it man my goodness and carlos back to kramer. carlos kramer we go all right ladies and gentlemen another explosive battle inside the epic fighting cage this comes to an end at one minute and 21 seconds of the second round your winner by tko to the strikes from the arena anthony Hosko! Yes, sir. Future star, and you guys witnessed it tonight here on pay per view. Mad respect from each other. Anthony Orozco likes to talk a lot of smack. Didn't have the audacity to do it to this guy. I think he was just grateful that he was able to get an opponent because Harvey said this was the All hardest right, I'm with the ever, winner. ever had to try to find Anthony somebody. Anthony Orozco, Anthony, we've got word that you're representing the United States in the Pan Am Games coming this June. How excited are you? And by the way, I saw your mom again before the bout. She said to say hi. I said, your son, Mr. Orozco, is going to do it again tonight. How does that feel, having that kind of support from the family? Uh, they're going to be supporting me through this Pan Am tournament. I'm just excited, and I'd love to show out for them. Uh, and yeah, that's all. That's all. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank all you guys for coming out. It's a pleasure fighting in front of you guys. The exciting, the dynamic, fighting for the Pan Ams, representing USA in June, Anthony Orozco. What another incredible win for Orozco. Another win in dominant fan fashion. Four straight wins, four straight TKOs. Anthony Orozco is 4-0.